Hi all. A uh, video on how to mark students' work if they send you a picture of it. Uh, so I've had a couple of questions about this. Uh, here's an example Veronica sent on to me how she'd been marking uh, work. So sometimes students will take a picture of their work and they've written it out, like in this case here, um, and you want to be able to mark it and give it back to them. So how Veronica did this, she ticked the boxes, she put writing there underneath. Um, that can be sent back then as a picture. So you just... Say, save that afterwards. It goes, it's in your photo stream when, when you've finished marking it and you can just email that picture back. You also have the option, um, if you don't want to go as high tech as this, you can just take a picture or you can just print it out if you happen to have a printer at home. Not everyone does, but if you happen to have one, you can print it out, mark it by hand, take a picture of what you've done and send that back. But most of us don't have printers at home. So this markup that Veronica has done here is perfect. Um, here's one that um, I got and show you how to edit to mark this so I'm in the photos so I'll just go out here so I went into photos here's a, a picture that a student did a bit of work so up in the top right corner you see the edit button so if you press the edit button it takes a second or two but um, this appears now and it gives you things for adjusting your picture and cleaning it up and stuff we're not interested in any of that up in the top corner, top right corner again, there's uh, three little dots. And if you press that, it gives you one option, and the option is markup. And markup gives you all these options down here at the bottom. So now you've got a highlighter. So you can highlight something. You've got two different types of pens. Um, you've got actually loads of different types. But if I press that, I can even change the color here. So I change to red. No, I didn't. Now I changed to red. So I can circle things. If you feel that's a bit thin, if I press long press on any of these, you get extra options. So if I long press on that, you see I can say, well, actually, I prefer a much thicker one. So now, depending on what I want to do, um, and I can write. Although it's very hard to write. You can zoom in on your page. So if I want to zoom in and do that, and then come back out again. I've got a rubber. If I click the rubber, I can just select the individual ones and rub them out. It's not like a normal rubber. I'm not destroying the work the student did. Uh, loads of different options down there you can play with. Uh, one of the really handy ones is the plus in the corner. It's the plus. Gives you a chance to write in some text. So that's what Veronica did in the picture she had there. So if I press text and I just tap on the screen. Oh, here it is. So there's my text. I can move that around. And if I tap in there, I can say, well done. And that's ready. Whenever I'm finished, and you can use all, there's loads of different options in there. Whenever I'm finished, I press done. And done again. Now, I'm back out. If I go back, so here's my photos. If I go in, you'll see there it is now. The picture has been changed. So I could email that picture back to a student now and they can see the marks on it. The other video I put in the newsletter there about um, recording your screen. If you turn on the screen recorder while you were doing this, you could talk over the page going, well, yes, you're right here, but um, this part is wrong or, you know, you need to, to watch your spelling and whatever else you wanted to talk into it. In that case, it would be saved as a video. And you can you can send it back to them. Now, sounds a bit fancy. Mightn't use it for, for a lot of students. For most students, this mark up here, if they are taking a picture, they can send it on to you. You can mark it like this and send it back to them. So just in summary, all we did was went to edit, pressed the three dots, and went to mark up. And that gives you access to all these. And if you wanted the text, it's a little plus in the bottom corner. Okay. And let's see if I can get out of this.